Hey, what's up? So we just got uh, this new API console, the box. Uh, this is their second version of it with the eight recording channels uh, instead of the four from the original. Um, and they made a few other nice upgrades too. Um, so I'm already, I've only had this a few days, but I'm already kind of figuring out how to do some things that um, can make it a little more functional than it would appear at first glance. So um, one of the things I immediately wished I had was a drum bus. When I mix, I always want to compress uh, my entire drums, um, you know, uh, and there's no, there's no buses on this console. There's no groups. So, um, you know, uh, there's a pretty straightforward way around this. Actually, there's a couple of ways, uh, to, to pull this off. Um, one of them is, uh, so these eight channels, like what I, I have, the way I have this set up for, uh, for mixing is, uh, I'm using all 24 inputs. So this is one through eight and, you know, and then this becomes nine through 24. Um, so I already have it, you know, like gr grouped coming out of the computer, you know, so um, I, mean, I have like three kick tracks, two snare tracks, blah, blah, blah. But coming into here, I have kick, snare, and then uh, toms left and right, um, overheads left and right, and room mics left and right. Um, so I'm stemming a, a bit, you know, that way. Still a lot to play with. Uh, and then this stuff can all go through the built-in EQs. Um, so that's nice. And uh, when I'm mixing, I think I'm gonna wanna use the compressor on the mix bus. So I'm not using it on the channels, which even though you could on, on channels one through four. Um, but you know, there's still uh, inserts on these channels so I can put outboard compressors on it. That's fine, uh, that'll do. So uh, the, the, the easiest solution is these channels, these eight, all have direct outputs for when you're recording, right? So I have a, let's see, there was a break in the song. Okay, so here's a kick drum coming in. Uh, yeah, it's on channel one. And I don't have to do anything. It's already automatically, um, you can see this is uh, my interface is a Lynx uh, Aurora N. So the bottom is the output going to the API. The top is the the direct out coming back in, right? So normally uh, I don't really care about that if, you know, if I'm mixing, but in this case, um, what I can do is on. This is the, um, the software interface for the physical mixer that's actually in that in, in the Aurora. So I can actually take, um, you know, uh, all of my drums, my first eight channels here, sorry, <laughs> and I can bus all of those eight to uh, one pair of outputs. So then, then it becomes, how do you want to handle it? So I could send them all, I could dedicate 23 and 24 uh, to my drum bus and just pull them up there. And, you know, and then I can use the insert on, on these channels, the inserts on these channels uh, to apply compression um, or, or whatever I want, you know, compression EQ. Um, so that's one way of doing it. Uh, now, there's another way of doing it where you don't have to use any of these channels, which is um, the master section of this console has uh, a program sum input, right? So that's designed for if you have a second console or if you have, like, you know, we have an additional um, summing box, like this is the Rupert Neve one. 
which, you know, that can be cool to get a different flavor of summing. But if you're not using it for that, if it's open, uh, it's the that input on the master channel is pre compressor, pre master insert. So for all intents and purposes, it's an aux return or it's an effects return. Um, but without a volume knob. So no big deal. You can just use the output of the compressor to control to control that. And you could do uh, you know, New York style parallel compression or you could just do uh, the drum bus and don't, you know, just don't assign your drum channels to, to the mix bus and just pull it in there. So uh, that's two different ways of creating a separate drum bus on this console. Um, and, uh, you know, I think that's pretty cool. And, you know, so um, follow the logic there. Um, you know, like there's other ways you can do this too. So like say you wanted to do, I mean, you could also dedicate your Q, your Q sends. Um, if you weren't using them for, you know, reverb or some other effects, um, or, you know, you, you know, these aux one and two, you know, they're separate, but you could still use them as a stereo send if you wanted to, uh, just be careful about it. Um, uh, and that way that you could do on these other returns as well. So if you wanted to create a bus with something on this side of the console, you could still do it that way. And, um, and then depending on, you know, your patch base setup, I mean, like I have, um, I have patch points for the aux outs for all four. So, um, you could create a bus and patch it anywhere you want. You know, you, you could, you could bring that in to the sum input, or you could patch that to a pair of faders as well, if you needed to, um, you start running out of faders, of course. Um, but for me, uh, at least my initial thinking is I'm probably only going to really need to do that for drums. Um, you know, the rest of it, uh, you know, I can probably figure out a different way. Um, you know, uh, you never know. Um, depends on the project, right? Uh, maybe, you know, sometimes there's a lot of background vocals. I like to do a group bus for that. But, yeah, you can also do that maybe in the computer. Um, and so it, the difference with the drums is I really want the drums to individually hit the API channels, get the individual analog EQ, get the individual smack of the transformers and the op amps, you know, I mean, like drums are something I really want the benefit of the summing for. So, uh, more so than say a group of background vocals. Um, so uh, I think you know, I could be wrong, but my my initial impression is uh, a drum bus would be enough, you know, to satisfy me at least uh, when doing a mix. And, um, you know, and that way also, uh, you know, I can still send, I can use a reverb and I can still do, you know, drum reverb after the processing. And, uh, you know, maybe use that some, that some input for the reverb return. So that would be cool. All right, uh, just I'm figuring it out, so I thought I'd figure it out out loud in real time in case it was helpful to anybody else. And uh, please drop any ideas you have. You know, uh, I, I, I'm just beginning. I just got this a few days ago. I'm going to go looking for some social media, you know, uh, outlets, see if there's any groups just about this console. Um, and, you know, uh, the more the merrier let's let's share our knowledge and and uh unlock all the secrets that this beautiful you know baby lamborghini has to offer <laughs> all right take care everyone bye